ideas about other people, other races, other countries, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, and it's hard to get that out once it's been ingrained in you. And, and this episode definitely talks about that. And I just, I think Robert Picardo is just phenomenal in this. Um, I'm right now doing a, a Stargate rewatch and mm. uh, he plays a kind of a minor character in a few episodes and then later on is, is more important in Atlantis. But, you know, that was my first experience with Robert Picardo and just seeing him as the doctor is just, oh, I love his episodes. Mm. He's great. He's a, a really funny character actor. Uh, yeah, definitely. I didn't realize that he had been on that. Um, Cindy really likes um, Stargate, all of those. So, oh yeah. So, yeah, when he shows up in Stargate, he's literally the worst. <laughs> and then he has some redefining, you know, some really good character moments. And then he plays a really big role in Atlantis. Oh. And you know, it's been fun rewatching the series. Cool. Uh, it was a uh, strange typing. The doctor is his name because of my whole Doctor Who thing. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor. Not that doctor. The other no, doctor. No, no, no. <laughs> not that the doctor. <laughs> A different the doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> of course, I always have to say something about Doctor Who, I think. Or Star Wars. Or both. Uh, anyway. Um. <laughs> Doctor Who meets Star Wars in this episode <laughs> of Star Trek. <laughs> they all go through the Stargate and then... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it was kind of a little bit of all that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this episode, Living Witness, is from Season 4. It's Episode 23. Uh, the original air date was April 29th, 1998. 1998. Like, like, that just seems like yesterday sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And then also other times I'm like, that was a million years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was sitting in geometry class right now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so the story was by Brandon Braga, and who also did the teleplay with Brian Fuller and Joe Minoski. Uh, and it was directed by Tim Russ. Um... I didn't list any of the names of the people in it because I just haven't been doing that like we did for a little while. <laughs> you know, it's like the That's normal people. Right. And then we've got <laughs> some other people. <laughs> yeah, it's like all the regulars and then a few extras. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> and some guest stars. <laughs> um, so the synopsis was pretty short, the one I had. It says, when the doctor's backup modules found, his hologram was bought online for the first time in 700 years. That's pretty much the plot, but also not just, you know, there's a lot more to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Like I said, so I started on season four. You started I... on a good season. Oh, th uh, thank you. No. I... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I try. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, on honestly, I would have probably started somewhere else and watched a lot more if I hadn't have watched all the available episodes of, of uh, America's Next Top Model. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, like there are a lot of uh, problematic things on that show that Tyra <laughs> Banks actually like apologized for recently and uh, I do think I had blocked some of them from my memory. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, I was, I was going to say, I remember when America's Next Top Model was, was airing live. I remember mm -hmm. rushing home to watch it yeah. because I thought like, oh my gosh, I love Tyra Banks and, mm -hmm. and this and that. But then you go back and watch it now and she says some really terrible things mm -hmm. To and, the women on that show, and oh. Oh. and they they don't have just one episode where they change the race of the models for photographs. They have two. They and have, yeah. It's very <laughs> upsetting. Um, <laughs> it's yeah. It's there are a lot of problematic things. I think it's good that she's been big enough to apologize for it now, yeah. and say like that. You know, that wasn't the right thing to do. Um, but yeah, I problematic like, thing. Show, I feel like with that, it's like she felt like if she didn't have a problem with that in particular, then you know what I mean. Uh, maybe not necessarily some of the other stuff, but yeah, they were 
cattier than I remembered. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's why I haven't. So I've only gotten to episode like 17 or something. Like I haven't made it all the way to this episode. So then when I start, this is just the precursor because, you know, when we start to talk about this episode, missing a few episodes and it's starting, I was like, what have I missed? <laughs> Because we um, open and Janeway is talking to uh, Vaskin, the Va- Vaskin ambassador that I didn't take down his name because I think they said it once. Um, she seems more aggressive than usual. Um, you know, he's wanting some some help to get uh, a race known as the Kyrians. Uh, kind of out of their way so they could get some more land and you know she's basically wanting to just like get rid of them <laughs> like it's not like oh yeah hey we'll sure we'll push them out of the way it's kind of like yeah we'll you know we'll take care of them you know kind of thing well, and the you whole know, ship is off like the lighting yeah. is off like yeah. <laughs> their uniforms are off it just it feels like a mirror universe yeah because it's like they're wearing their regular uniforms but instead of the gray turtlenecks they've got on black ones there's not any kind of like uh, uh, insignia or anything there's nothing letting you know what um what they're you know um, the rank is rank is. Thank you. I could not think of the word, and I it's have okay. <laughs> it. I have it written down in here later, but I, just because it was, you know, because it's like it's kind of dark, like it is, <laughs> like when we did um, uh, one of the uh, what was that one? Yesterday's Enterprise. I was like, what was that other one we just did? Mm-hmm. Uh, how it was darker in the mirror universe, kind of thing, mm-hmm. or the alternate timeline and so that's how it kind of is here to like darker and grittier (laughs) and they're all wearing gloves they're all wearing Mm -hmm. like black leather gloves which (laughs) is weird it's all very dominatrix bdsm on the enterprise for on voyager for some reason i'm not sure (laughs) it is really strange um and her hair is short and I was looking on wikipedia because you know of course they have all the answers and someone had put in this little um, note or whatever, which I was like, that's that's a little much for just a note. But I did appreciate part of it because it says Captain Janeway, Kate Mulgrew, sports a butch haircut and excessive <laughs> sh- schadenfreude. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that far, yeah. I'm like, come on, a butch haircut. That's, what is this, 1992? Come on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that it says she is Schadenfreude is so great because she she's she's definitely like oh yes we can make them pay kind of person <laughs> oh yes you know <clears throat> excuse me you know you just imagine she's just gonna do the the thing where she drubs her fingers together and you know she had a mustache she would twirl it kind of thing. <laughs> She like sit in her chair and spin around and be like, "No, Mister Bond, I expect you to die." Like that's what you're expecting her to say next. <laughs> uh, she's got like some sort of weird alien, sort of furry animal instead of like yeah. a cat. <laughs> <laughs> she's petting a triple. Yes, a triple. A triple. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better because it would just be in the palm of a hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of a hand instead of just like yeah, exactly. And then the next, next thing you know, everybody's got a triple because that's how it works. With- <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they multiply. <laughs> um, you know, she wants to know what's in it for them if she helps them get rid of their enemies, and you know, he's like, "Oh, away home," and. Of course, this intrigues her because that's the whole point of this show. <laughs> and uh, he says that they know of a wormhole and their people can help them stabilize it. You know, hey, if you want to help us out, which it was kind of funny because he's like, so here's what we can do for you. After she's kind of like, 
let's just destroy everything to get what you want. And then he kind of <laughs> acted like he didn't want to do that. So, but then all of a sudden he's like, well, here's what we can do for you instead of like, see you later, lady. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we go to uh, the bridge. Uh, there's an alarm blaring. A crew member enters with, I don't know what kind of species this crew member is supposed to be, but they have like crazy hair. Um, and he's a, a, gig- he's a, he's a Kazon. Kazon. Yeah, Kazon. Um, okay. By okay. season four, they've moved past the Kazon, um, yes. so you haven't met them yet. Okay. It's all timey me. Yeah. I get mm-hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Fish sticks and custard and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and. Like there's um they have they all have like gigantic guns, which is sort of amusing. Um but he passes Neelix, who's on the bridge and he's in a uniform and it looks like he's maybe working tactical or something. It's like what is going on? <laughs> and so then we see everybody else, you know, so and like we had seen Janeway with the black turtleneck and the gloves and the no calm and all that stuff. We see everybody else is like that. Um, And it's so funny because they show her sitting in her captain's chair. But she's sort of like very casually sitting in her chair. But also like ordering the death of people kind of thing. Like it's... Yeah, she's so so casual about it. Yeah, her casual violence was... (laughs) interesting (laughs) she plays it so well too yes yes um but she like sends a message to this uh uh, carrying ship she's like you know if you don't stand down we'll destroy you (laughs) like whoa (laughs) um so she and she whenever she calls them she says that she's from the warship voyager so you know we also know that's wrong it's like what is happening like what did you all think the first time you saw this episode? Because for me, I was just like, what is going on here? <laughs> like, I didn't think that it was supposed to be like a mirror episode. But then, of course, you know, we find out it's all a simulation. But I wrote the down, first time, like, what? Like, that's the kind of stuff <laughs> I wrote down in my initial notes. <laughs> I mean, the first time I saw I didn't read the synopsis. So, like, I just assumed we're in a mirror universe. Um it, it to me it felt very much just like oh here we go here's another mirror universe where we get to see you know evil Janeway being cavalier about murdering a bunch of people cavalier that's a perfect word mm-hmm. no she, she definitely yeah. yeah she definitely um, is very very cavalier you know I'm I'm trying to remember like what I I think when I first saw this episode I think I felt like okay this is either a dream sequence or it's an alternate reality or it's um, uh, so it's it's like something in that line. Um, I, I definitely was surprised when it's revealed that it's like a, this compl- complicated simulation in like a museum talking about how like this is how terrible Voyager was. You know, they caused this terrible war and we're all still suffering today because of it. And it's like, huh? Like, it's definitely that, okay, clearly that's not what happened, but let's find out what's going on here. Uh, I uh, I have to go back to the first scene uh, just because I have a joke. Um, I see the, <laughs> the mask guy and I was like, is that George Hamilton? <laughs> For anybody who remembers who oh George my Hamilton goodness. is, because yeah. his tan was like that. Anyway, <laughs> he I was thought a it was bit funny. George Hamilton ish. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? Okay, so we find out Voyager's a warship. She asks Chicote if uh, they found the leader of this group, and she calls him Chakote, which is hilarious. <laughs> and everybody else does the whole time. And he's got this like, uh, like Caesar. George Clooney haircut which is hilarious because usually he's got like the sort of pompadour comb back hair um, and his tattoo is not just over on his forehead on the one side it goes all the way down his face 
<laughs> and it, since it has more of a more design that you can see, it seemed like it was like a sort of Maori kind of design, you know, and they have like face tattoos and stuff. So I was like, okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, and so 